In this video, I will walk you through how to plot periodic functions using a free online graphic calculator GeoGebra. Knowing the definition of the periodic function is an important part of plotting it, so I will go over the definition of periodic function. However, if you are familiar to this, please skip ahead. A periodic function is a function that repeats the function value at a certain interval or period. For example, the trigonometric functions repeat the function value at an interval of 2 pi radians, so they are periodic functions. Mathematically, the periodic function can be described as fx equals fx plus p. And graphically, it shows a function value at a certain value at x is the same as the one at x plus p, where p is the period or interval. We'll use the concept of fx equal to fx plus p to plot the periodic function, so you may want to keep it in mind. As an example, we have sine x, which is a periodic function, and the function value at x is the same as the function value at x plus p, where is the period. The important concept that we will use is that we'll use fx, fx plus p to repeat fx. We'll plot the sawtooth wave and the scare wave functions as examples. The first example is a sawtooth wave function. This function is important to describe a switch mode power supply and music signal processing. Given function fx equals x minus 1 where x is sitting minus 1 to 1, then it repeats the function value at the period of 2. To plot this, we'll use a free online graphic calculator GeoGebra. If this is your first time to hear about the GeoGebra, you can visit the website at geogebra.org or Google it. This is completely free website without ad and please feel free to use. In the home page, you can click Start Calculator. So you can see the empty command window box and then plotting section. Since given function fx is x, you can try to type x in the blank box in the left hand side. It will show the fx equal to x. It shows the entire x domain, which is not what you wanted. Since a periodic function has a different function value at a certain range of independent variable, we can set lower and upper bounds of x by using built-in function if. You can start typing if. It automatically shows the pop-up menu showing the required syntax. The minimum requirements are conditions and the function value if this is true. In this case, x is sitting minus 1 to 1. Then the function value is x. When you hit the enter, it will generate fx and shows the plot on the right hand side plotting section. Now, I will repeat the function value by shifting one period towards positive x direction. To repeat, I will use fx minus 2 to create the repeating fx by shifting by positive 2 in x direction. Then you can see additional sawtooth wave exiting 1 to 3. Note that 2 is the period or interval, and if you have different period or interval, please use a different one. This function is labeled as gx. Similarly, you can repeat the function fx by shifting one period towards negative x direction using f x plus 2. Now it seems like we have too much empty space, so I would resize x domain by adjusting the lower and upper bounds of x and y axis. You can go to the gear icon in the right upper corner. You can find the option to adjust. Now I will limit my plot between minus 4 to 4 in x direction, minus 1.5 to 1.5 in the y direction. To keep the same color of each curve, you can click the triple dot icon for each function and change the color. Go to setting and go to color 
I'm gonna choose a black. If you want, also want to increase your thickness of the curve, then I can also increase to max. So I'm gonna also remove my label. So I'm gonna turn off the show label so that your label is gone. I'm gonna repeat the same thing for other curves. So the uncheck, show label, and change color to black and style to increase line thickness. Repeat the process for the last one. Now you're successfully plot sawtooth wave function. At this moment, I cannot find how to automatically repeat the function to further expand towards x direction and y direction, perhaps using loop statement. However, if anybody knows how to do it, please feel free to share in the comment section down below. Next example is a square wave function, which is defined as fx equal to 1 when x sitting between 0 and 1, and 0 when x is sitting between 1 and 2. Then it repeats the function value at the period of 2. Since we have the function value 1 between 0 and 1, we'll use if 0 x less than 1 followed by 1. In the first argument, we define the range of x. In the second argument, we define the function value 1. When you hit the enter, it will generate the fx and show the plot on the right hand side plotting section. Since we have a second function value, 0, at x sitting between 1 and 2, we need to define another function value, 0, sitting between 1 and 2, and function value equal to 0. Now I can repeat the function value by shifting one period towards positive x direction. To repeat, I'll use f x minus 2, then you can see additional salted wave between 1 and 3. Note that 2 is a period or interval, and if you have a different period or interval, please use a different one. Similarly, you can repeat the function fx by shifting one period towards negative x direction by using x plus 2. So you need to repeat this process for the function g. Similarly, you can adjust the range of x and y by adjusting lower and upper bounds of x and y axis. You can also change the color of each curve and control the labels. Now we successfully plotted the periodic functions. If you find this video useful, please give thumbs up. Please consider subscribing this channel and hit the notification bell if you want to watch similar videos in future. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video.